hey guys, I have a Discord server. You guys should totally join our community. I'm also really active on Twitch as well as social media, like Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. If you guys want to follow me and stay up to date with everything, check out all the links in the description down below. And I guess enjoy the video. Hey, what's up guys? It's Chipper here and welcome back to a brand new video. Anyways guys, today we're going to be checking out the best skin patterns in CSGO. We got a lot of really crazy skins. I actually own a few of them and then, of course, you know, some of them are way out of my price range. But anyways, the first skin on this list is the Karambit Marble Fade Fire and Ice. And uh, I guess specifically for this one, we're going to be looking at the pattern index number 412. So this is the number one pattern index for pretty much all the Fire and Ices. And it just looks really, really sick. The reason why this is so much, it's like, yeah, this, this skin is like three or four thousand dollars depending on the float but the reason why it's so much is just because there's a it's it's basically all red and blue and there's actually a pretty decent amount of red here i actually have one of my own but it's only a ninth box and there's not nearly as much red on it so basically the more red on the fire and ice the more expensive it is and 412 is the number one pattern in the game but honestly though a ninth max still looks pretty sick next up we have the ak-47 case hardened scar pattern and this is literally the number one pattern you can get for ak-47 uh case hardens and uh the, obviously the pattern template is number 661 but the reason why this is so much money is because it literally has like a full blue top like the entire thing is completely blue except for this line right here and then of course you know not blue right here but the reason why this is called the scar is because there's literally a scar right here and this is by far the most expensive pattern just because like it's really rare and people are willing to pay a lot more for it just because it looks so cool like it obviously doesn't have the most blue but i feel like the placement of the blue makes it look way better than a lot of other case hardens like it just looks really clean that's a lot of blue dude uh next up is actually a slightly different pattern oh this is actually way 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 cheaper next up we have the ak-47 blue gem that actually has the most blue on it it's actually way cheaper than the scar pattern and this one's called the reverse scar pattern because it's basically all blue on the top except right here it has like a little scar on the opposite side of it and then of course there's a lot of a lot of blue on the mag a lot of blue right here like there's just a lot of blue on it but even though it has the most blue out of any ak-47 case hardened it's worth considerably less than the scar pattern just because people don't people don't really like it as much i mean honestly though if you're on a budget like this is probably a better ak for you next up is the number one pattern five seven case hardened and this one just happens to be factory new, but I guess the condition doesn't really matter. But the pattern index for this one is 690, and it is just, there's so much blue on here. I mean, obviously it's not completely blue, um, because there's a little bit of yellow right here and a little bit of yellow right there. But other than that, it's actually, there's a lot of blue on here, like on both sides too. Like in factory new, these things go for like $700. They're really, really pricey. But in my opinion, I think this is probably the best looking and obviously the rarest 5.7 in the game. Uh, luckily, I actually do have one. It's my, my pattern, I have a point, I have a 189. This one was actually considerably cheap but it still has a decent amount of blue on it but of course it's not the same <laughs> all right next up is actually a really popular skin and this is actually a skin that more people can afford i mean it's still pretty expensive it's still like over a thousand dollars but next up is the karambit fade 9010 the pattern index for this one is 628 but yeah there's actually there's real like 9010 karambit fades and then there's fake 9010s and uh, the fake ones actually have a little bit of purple right here, and the real ones are basically just all pink. But in my opinion, though, I think this is by far the best variant of the Karambit Fade, and obviously it's way more expensive too, so, you know, clearly other people agree. If you have, like, a budget of unlimited money or whatever, and you want to get a Karambit Fade, this is probably the one to go with. This one is, this is actually a really, really, really expensive skin. And I guess the main reason why it's expensive is because it's stat track factory new. But even if you get this in factory new, it's still worth a ton of money. But the next best rare pattern skin is obviously crimson webs with multiple webs. Okay, so this one's not the best example, but on this side right here, on the inspect side, it actually has two webs. And then on the play side, it has one web. But pretty much the best pattern you can get for a crimson web is two webs on the play side. And if you get something like that, it's... You know, it's basically top tier. This also goes for every other crimson web in the game, like the Karambit, the flip knife, like the more webs, the better, essentially. All right, next up, we have the M9 Bayonet case hardened. And this is actually, this is the number one pattern you can get. This one has the most blue on it. Even though this is the number one pattern, it doesn't even look that great. Like there's not even that much blue on it. Obviously there is a lot of blue, but the tip is pretty much gray. Like there's, like if it had a full blue tip, if just, if like from here to like the tip was just all blue, it would, be, it would be so much nicer. But yeah, regardless though, this is the number one pattern M9 Bayonet Case Harden in the game. And pretty much any of the high tier like Case Hardens are worth a ton of money. Basically, the more blue, the better. Except for like, you know, obviously the scar pattern and then like some specific patterns. But yeah, this is just, this is a really, really sick knife. But it's also like $5,000 for field tested. So it's a little bit too expensive for most people. All right, now we're going to be looking at the number two pattern, Karambit Case Harden. And then of course, we also have the number one pattern one. So this is pattern number two. This is number 442. And this is actually the one that I own. The main reason why I Got this was just because it's just it's it's honestly my dream knife like it just has a ridiculous amount of blue on it pretty much all of it is blue except for the corner but i mean the corner doesn't really matter too much because like pretty much everything else is blue like the blade is blue like this part of this like completely blue so pretty much it's like a full blue knife except for like the corner everything else is just super clean but of course the inspec 
back side doesn't really have too much blue on it so but obviously there's only one ceramic case harden that has like a lot of blue on both sides and that's number 269 also known as the hico pattern which we're not really going to look at that but yeah if you're looking for blue on both sides the hico pattern is probably the way to go but if you want the play side to look the best uh number 442 is the way to go unless you're like a super rich baller and you can afford the number one pattern one so yeah this is that and this is the number one pattern ceramic case hardened in the game you, there's not a better pattern than number 387 so it is just like this thing is insane I, like i've never held an i've never held this specific knife in game before the thing that makes this special is the entire play side is completely blue obviously i mean the corner is not flawless there's like a couple little bits of yellow right there and then of course there's like this big blotch right here and then there's also this piece this this purple part right here but if you're looking for like a super high tier skin one of these knives is definitely the way to go like these things sell for a ridiculous amount of money like i don't even know how much these sell for like i'm assuming for well worn it's probably well over 10 grand but i mean that goes for a lot of like number one tier like super high tier like top tier skins but yeah so this is uh this is the number one pattern and i guess this is probably the one downside to it there's like this big like blotch on it and it looks it looks kind of ugly but i mean there is a lot of blue and actually if you compare it to this one this one actually I, in my opinion i think this one looks a little bit better with the exception of the corner like the overall blade just looks way cleaner except for the corner but unfortunately though there's not like a perfect karambit like if there was like a perfect karambit case hardened that had those like completely flawless it'd be worth way more money but that's not how pattern indexes work and then finally we're going to end off with something a little bit more affordable we're going to talk about rubies sapphires all that stuff so so pretty much for any doppler there's multiple phases and then you can also get rarer versions um you can get rubies sapphires and then of course you can also get black pearls and black pearls are way rarer but they're not worth as much money because they don't look as good in my opinion i, I don't want to look at every single doppler in the game but this is what the Krambit doppler looks like and it's honestly it's a lot of people's favorite knife like it looks super sick especially with like any form of like blue or purple gloves there's also the M9 Bayonet Ruby. Rubies are actually considerably cheaper than Sapphires, just because there's not as much demand, but they still look really, really cool. And honestly, the M9 Bayonet Ruby looks super sick. All right, here we go. And then here's a here's an M9 Bayonet Emerald, probably the most expensive Doppler out of the bunch, just because it's from the Gamma case, and not as many of those Dopplers have been unboxed. But I mean, yeah, if you have like a green themed inventory, or if you like green knives, this is probably your go-to knife. Well, this one's stat track, so it's way more money than a regular one, but yeah, emeralds are pretty pricey. They actually have gone down a little bit, but they're still like three grand on CS money, like so. Like a like a Karambit Emerald is still like a thousand dollars more than like a Karambit Sapphire. And then finally, there's the Karambit Black Pearls as well. Obviously, there's, you know, you can get all of these knives for pretty much any variety of knife in the game, except for the new ones. So yeah, there are a lot of rubies, sapphires, and black pearls you can get. And then uh, well, as for emeralds, you can only get them for like the older knives. But yeah, the, I mean, literally the black pearl is 10 times rarer than like rubies and sapphires. And it's 100 times rarer than regular dollars. But in my opinion, it doesn't really look that great. I mean, it's cool, but it's the only real reason why this is such a cool knife is just because it's rare. But anyways, guys, that was my video on the best rare pattern skins in CSGO. Let me know which skin you thought was the craziest. Did you like the did you like the Karambit case hardens? Did you like the AK case hardens? Did you like the Karambit fade? Like from all the knives that I talked about in this video or all the skins that I talked about in this video, which one was your personal favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, share, subscribe, click that bell icon. And if you watched the video all the way until the end, leave a comment saying hashtag, damn, I'm never going to own a skin like that. Yeah, a lot of these higher tier skins are like way too much money, but I just wanted to do a video so you guys could like, you know, check out some of the rarer skins in the game, just so you could see like what potentially, you know, what you could get at some point in the future. And it's also interesting to see like the craziest skins like people have. But anyways, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you guys for all the support on the channel. If you guys want to help share the channel and help the channel grow that would actually mean a lot to me because i have you guys i'll be totally fine and i'll be able to keep making videos on this channel so but anyways guys thank you so much for watching it's turbo and i'm out peace